Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let me tell you guys about this beautiful, not new, but renewed hair. So this is the final review of the DY Hair 777. This is how it looked like before. And this is how it looks like now. So what did I do to this hair basically? I felt like this hair, it was plain, black, simple, kind of boring. And it was looking lifeless and dull a bit on me that's what I felt like so I felt like I needed to give it some color and revive it and that's what I did so I dyed this hair to this beautiful uh, bronzy brownish auburn color and this was honestly the easiest steps I didn't really film it because I don't really film when I dye my hair because I don't really know how they come out all the like most times I don't know how they come out that's why I don't film them but if you want like a, a dedicated tutorial of how I dye my hair how I um, bleach them then let me know in the comment box below but basically what I did is just put in some highlights so I bleached them a, like I bleached the hair a little bit well not really bleached like lifted it and to get it like to a nice brown color and then I just got like the cheapest like literally the cheapest hair dye <laughs> I could find and I don't even remember the name like the cheapest hair dye for like $3.99 or something and put it on the hair and this is what it came out to be and I absolutely love this color because it's not too bright but it's like really, really subtle but then nice and it complements my skin tone like um in love with this hair like you can s you see how much the color can change everything okay so let me kind of give you like a final review of this hair so as I said as you can see I dyed the hair and I plucked it a little bit to make it seem and um, look more natural in the beginning like I didn't really like the texture of it it was really dull and lifeless I don't know why but um and it was like i i, I kind of told you like in the first review it was clumping up together a lot and uh, it doesn't really tangle but it clumps like i don't know how to explain but it was like it was not flowy not like this so um this is what i didn't really like about the hair so i decided to dye it first pluck it a bit and then i straighten it and put like these beach wave kind of curls in them to get it more vibrant and like looking alive but um, it was kind of a procedure like it was a process it wasn't easy at all with this hair because it's pretty thin like the hair like although it has a density of 180 I think 150 or 180 it's pretty thin like all together like the hair is like when I put it together Well, now it doesn't look as thin because I curled it obviously but it's pretty thin so I kind of had difficulties um, dealing with it because it doesn't give me the volume I want to that's why I put the curls in it because straight it looked nice but it was it really looked thin and since the hair is so long I don't like long thin hair on my face like it doesn't look good on my face that's why I needed some volume with this and yeah this also made this the hair more flowy because in the beginning it was not flowy at all like I could do this and it was kind of like a bit stiff but um, doing this made it flow more I like the hair but it wasn't my favorite but I learned to like it now because now like I switch it up and I know how to treat it like what to do with it to give it like this nice look that I want to and the look that I'm going for so basically what you have to do is I figured why it's so thin it's thin probably because I took the wig and not the wefts like the bundles because the bundles come with a lot more hair on them so if you order from DY Hair 77 I would recommend ordering from them because the hair is really nice but um, the wig like the 360 wig since it's um, like a 360 one it's um, the the hair is stitch like onto the lace like one by one that's why it doesn't come as full but that's what always in general so I would recommend like next time I would 
get bundles rather I didn't know that in the beginning so I would get rather bundles and then make them into my own wig and have like a more fuller type of uh, look but um, I managed to work with this because it's also nice it's nice because it looks really natural since it's not like this big and full it looks really natural but with this color I absolutely learned to love it and the hair took the color beautifully like um, very easily uh, it was done in like in an hour I had it done like I had it bleached and like um, right after the bleach I put in the hair dye and it took on immediately and it came out very nice and very natural as you can see so I'm um, absolutely loving this new hair I feel like I gave it new life like I rebirthed it so um, this is it yeah like this color is everything for me like it suits my skin you you see the difference how it looked like when it was black and how like my face looked like and how it looks like now like with my skin tone it complements my skin tone like so freaking well like I don't know what to say like <laughs> it complements my skin tone so well that's why I even put on this like um, yellow top to complement it even more like I feel so fire summary thank you so much for watching